she's just our cheek too. Whatever, dude. Yeah, who this? Oh, hello? This is Raul from the cab company. They said you bought the business, so I wanted to introduce myself. All right, cool. Shit. Good to meet you. It's a solid business. We do well. Some of our regulars can be a little fussy, but what do you expect in LS, right? I'll give you a call if anything comes up, okay? All right, sounds good. Sorry to do this to you, boss, but we got a guy Felipe needs picking up. Rich kid. His dad's a big client of ours. He's insisting we send the best driver we got. Okay, sure, I got you. Thanks, Mr. Clinton. He's waiting outside the Mount Zona Medical Center. I only work at Yo, driver! Okay. I need to get up to the Von Witt sign right now! You can really let it rip, bro! There's no such thing as too crazy in my book, okay? You got it. And don't worry. I'll throw in a fat tip if you get me there in a seriously rad fashion. My dad's big time rich. I'm really not kidding, bro. Go nuts, leave it all on the road. There it is, adrenaline boner. Right into oncoming traffic. You know what daddy likes. I don't have limits, only next levels that have to be. Them. I don't have limits, only next levels that haven't been reached yet. Okay, okay, I get it. Anything to move this along is cool with me. Yeah, smell that burning rubber. Oh yeah, I'm back in business. Go on! Now that's what I'm talking about. Caribbean style, I like it. There it is! Power drift, baby! Man, I hope I get there in time. So the boy's bleeding about some crazy stunt at the Vinewood sign. Probably gonna wingsuit off it or some shit. This crew, I mean, talk about insane. Fender, fender! Woo-woo! I'll just get up there and throw myself into the mix. This is a sick bunch of dudes. They're always bantering with me, telling me to go home and stop hanging out with them. <laughs> Great guys. Just ram them next time! Not far now. I say we step it up and go off-road, bro. Do it! Oh, sorry, not. Boom! You are crazy, man! Man, didn't you just get out the hospital? I know, right. I must be completely insane. Check myself out against medical advice, too. Uh-oh. The doctor was all like, you might have internal bleeding. And I'm all like, you might have internal lameness. So check you on the flip side. I was trying to free climb the Arcadius building in Pillbox Hill. Got one story up and fell off. Here we are, dog. Hope that worked out for you. Totally. I was looking for next level. And brother, you delivered. Keep it real. I'm out. Now, where are those guys? I, I don't see them anywhere. Hi, uh, Mr. Clinton. Uh, sorry to bother you, but we have a young lady asking for a driver who's really got his finger on the pulse of Los Santos. And you're the only guy I can think of. Are you busy right now? Yeah, I should be able to handle that. She's at the Galileo Observatory on Galileo Avenue at Vinewood Hills. Thanks for this. Hello? Hi, can you take me to a decent clothes store? Any closed store? Shit, what exactly are you looking for? You tell me. The taxi depot said you were the guy in the know. I need something to wear for this big meeting I've got coming up. I'm pitching a movie idea to some studio execs. All right, I think I got a couple of options for you. Oh, thank you. I'm still new in town. I only moved to Los Santos last month. 
I think that if you're really serious about getting into the industry, you have to be LS based. This is huge for me. I've been reworking this screenplay for eight years now. I can't reveal too much, but it's going to completely redefine the science fiction slash erotica genre. That's a genre? It will be if I nail this presentation. I need a look that screams powerful, independent woman, but still vulnerable and prepared to do anything to get ahead. A little bit school teacher, a little bit school girl. A hint of their mother, but not too much. That's what men want, right? Shit, a hint of my mother would be a dime bag and a blowtorch. Oh, wow. That's raw. <sighs> I feel your pain. My movie is really a metaphor for the struggles of growing up middle class during the economic boom of the 90s. I'm gonna use it to heal. I can't believe my luck. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I'm out at a bar, get talking to this older guy, and guess what? Turns out he's a big movie producer who thinks I've got huge potential. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those around. Well, I'm meeting him at his apartment. Apparently, he only invites girls there if he's serious about taking it to the next level. Shit, it sounds like I should be taking you to an emanation instead of a clothes store. No, he was definitely legit. So, will this work for you? Looks awesome. Thank you so much. You watch yourself at that meeting, all right? One of our regulars, Otis, needs a ride and he's demanding VIP treatment. Doesn't sound like he's in great shape. Can you take this one? Yeah, I could deal that one for you. He's outside the Up and Adam Burger, opposite the Gentry Manor in downtown Vinewood. Hey! So where to? There's Bucci Canal, <laughs> San Andreas Ave, and Bay City. I take it real easy. I'm feeling a little woozy, man. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Oh, God. You sure you okay? You seem kind of faded, dawg. Nah, I'm solid, man. I think I ate a bad shrimp or something. Must have been one drunk-ass shrimp. Jesus, you're worse than my wife. I got it under control now. I, mean, I stopped for a few months, then I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> a couple of glasses of wine is okay. You know, the doctors recommend it. I'm in fashion PR. You've got to walk the walk. Turn on the charm. I mean, you've seen how put together I am. There's a lot of temptations, but I know when to cut myself off. <clears throat> Just drive carefully. I'll be fine when I get to Rob's place. <sighs> now that's much better. Got it. Nice and smooth. Nice. Thanks for taking it so easy, man. I think I'd have blown chunks otherwise. This is Rob's? Man, you in some serious denial, homie. You don't turn up a party empty-handed. <laughs> don't you know anything? <laughs> Mr. Clinton, we got three guys waiting for a pickup saying they're big VIPs. I don't want to send the wrong person. Ed, do you think you'll be able to take this one? Got to do my thing for the business, I guess. Great. They're waiting at the entrance to the Richmond Hotel on West Eclipse Boulevard. Seriously, dude? I asked them to send a nice big car for three VIPs. Car for Darren? Okay, we got three stops, bro. Polly here is the closest. Maze Bank. Alta Street. Hey, quick as you can, we're kind of late. As you can see, we're pretty good for a tip. Drop a massage. Whoop. 
Whoop on the company dime. We're skipping work. Banking, dude, they want you there 24-7. You have to let off a little steam sometimes. No use making all that money if you can't enjoy it. On that note, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hello! Blaze that bad boy. Yo, are you 420 friendly, bro? Whatever. Oh, yeah, bailout blunt. It is happening. Nothing like a drinks and a smoke before gambling with someone's retirement. Whoa, take it to the dome. <laughs> this is some straight up dank. Will you hurry up with that? Seriously, puff puff pass, Polly. Sharing is caring. <coughs> <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> hey, my baby daughter called. She wants her lungs back. Next stop's Fleece the Bank on Hallwick Avenue. Thanks, bro. Is that the last of the weed? Yeah, afraid so. Man, I'm so relaxed. That Olga gives a serious massage. I still can't believe Polly got the dude. Polly? Asked for the dude. Deep tissue. No hands. Whatever. Yours look like she used to be a dude. So, did you end happy? Didn't get a chance. I blew my wad into the towel halfway through. <laughs> you can't need a man's thigh like that. Okay, screw going back to work. I need to get some junk food in me. Can you drop me out at 24-7? I think there's one on Innocence Boulevard. You ever been to the Richmond Hotel? It ain't one of my usuals, nah. You should check it out. Killer cocktails, great spa. Can't believe we only dropped two grand this time. Must be slipping. But if we tipped anymore, it would have been awkward. What about the... Hey! What about... Hey boss, we got a guy just called for a car and he was very specific about who he wanted. Any chance you could drive him down to the port of Los Santos? Sure, just tell me where I gotta go. I think a uh, guy's called Walter. He's out at MU Nation in Pillbox Hill. Yo, hey there! Hey, where you going? Down to the port, the shipyard off Signal Street. Watch it, shithead! Hey, you work at the docks? No. There's some freaks who hang out down there. I need to talk to them about my niece. She hasn't been home in three days. Have you heard of the Lost? They're a biker gang. Oh, yeah. The punks is like weeds, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. You should watch yourself, man. They nasty. They're cowards. You stand up to them. You look them in the eye. You see who they really are. A bunch of scared kids who never had any friends at school living out some homoerotic fantasy. A few tattoos, a leather jacket, and a bandana don't make you tough. Why are you driving like a maniac? Don't make you tough. I've worked construction my whole life. Guys who don't need to act tough because they are. Not dressing up like some girly glam rock reject. And even the few that did, was on the weekends on their own time. Nah, young thugs these days, they're all mouth and nothing to back it up. They don't scare me. I just want to find out where Kelly is. Ever since my sister's loser husband ran out on her, I've been like a father to her. And I know I'm strict. You have to be these days. The world we live in, See, you're a decent kid. Okay, uh, we're nearly there. Here, take this gun. Hey, what? And you said you just wanted to talk to them. Worst case scenario, something goes wrong. I thought you'd be okay with it. Why? Because I'm a young black man from... Calm down! Because I'm a young black man from Chamberlain Hills? Is this why you asked for me? You're not okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. That's not the point. It's just a precaution. 
Okay, I'm gonna go have a word with these guys. Just wait here. Just be cool, all right? This don't feel right. What's going on? Don't worry about them. Worry about the bad math of me and two hookers equaling no action. No, he looks really pissed. I wanna see this. Not this guy again. Hey! Where's my niece, you punks? Where's Kelly? I know you got her. I told you. Don't worry about Kelly. She loves us. Some nights, she loves us all at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you! What, you think I'm scared of you? You think you're gangsters? Tell me where she is or I'll shoot! Oh shit. Now out of respect for your horror of any... You little punk! Just want my niece. Thanks for stepping in. I know that was a dumb move. Here, take some money, please. Now we better clear out before the cops show up. One of our regulars, Alonzo, just called for a driver. He was being a bit pushy, yeah. He's very particular. Is there any chance you can handle this one for us? Sure, I could take that. He's waiting outside the USLA campus in Richmond. Sorry to do this to you, boss. He's a bit of a dick. I ain't gonna lie. Car for Alonso. Fuck me in the ass. You took your sweet time. Where you going, man? I will get out underneath the Olympic freeway. Step on it. My girl's broken down, idiota. I told her a hundred times about going out without me. And last thing I said was, don't touch the car. How many times do I have to put her back in line? You keep them on a short lease, huh? You have to. All these punks rubbing up on her the whole time. What is with black guys and Latinas? Ain't you got enough women of your own? Man, I ain't even gonna answer that. Got this cabron making move on her the other week? Some ballas or her family or some bullshit punk ass little gangster. Bro, he's showing five places. Pow! With one punch! Right like a bitch! Man, I wouldn't run my mouth if I was you. It's talks like that that'll get a homie laid down. Just do your job, Mr. Minimum Wage. Don't try to be something you're not. And this battle she used to work with before I made her quit. I saw a missed call from him one time on her phone and went there with a bat. Look, homie, I'll take you where you need to go. But say the story for someone who don't see right through your ass. Whatever, just drive, way. And now she's calling me. On my way. What was the last thing I said to you about taking the car, huh? Are you that stupid? The crit better be spotless when we get back. You're done? No, no, no. You're done when I say you're done. You understand? Put the hang up on me. She should be just underneath the overpass. Dang, that girl is banging. How she end up with you? Yeah, I'll definitely tear that up. Shit, maybe I will. What the hell you say? Get the hell out of there! Pendejo. Oh! I'll tear you up, hijo de puta! Come on, then! Let's go! Ah! Ah! Sorry about that. No, he had it coming. You did me a favor. Look, I, I know this sounds weird, but can you give me a ride? Least I can do after kicking your boyfriend's ass. Ex-boyfriend. I've got friends on Palomino Avenue in Little Seoul. I think I'll go crash there for a few days. You okay? I'm fine. It makes a change for him to be slapped around instead of me. I've been trying to find an out for months, but he's so controlling. I mean, I like a man to be a man. 
to protect me, but Alonzo's like serial killer crazy. He wouldn't let me go and see my friends. He checked my cell phone every night. He beat up my stepbrother one time for giving me a hug goodbye because he said he wasn't blood. Yeah, I think you could do better. You know, I've never seen anybody stand up to him like that before. Some things you don't let go. Well, I'm Elisa. Most people call me Liz. Frank. Despite the circumstances, it's nice to meet you, Frankie. Thanks, Farewell. You know, I know it's not much, but here's my number. You should give me a call sometime. Hey, so you wanna, um, like, hook up? It just so happens I have an opening for you. You better come and get it. We're going to have some fun, cariño. I say we get started with the appetizer. All right, let's get it on. Mr. Clinton, it's Raul, the taxi dispatcher. There's this customer telling me he's a Korean celebrity. I, I think he said his name was Quack. Yeah, anyway, he's uh, saying he's in a big hurry and he wants us to send our top dog. Any chance you could take this job? Gotta do my thing for the business, I guess. Appreciate it, boss. He's outside the 24-7 store in Sandy Shores. Right here, homie. Hey, man, where are you going? Vinewood Hills, North Conquer Avenue. And step on it, bro. I got a poker game starting in an hour and a half. This is a private game, invitation only. I'm talking high roads. If I'm late for the buy-in, they'll ice me out for sure. It's Mr. Quack, right? Call me K-Wack. That's how I roll over here. Nobody can pronounce my name right. Quack, Quack. I'm a shark, not a duck, for real. You probably heard of me. I released a song in Korean on the internet last year called Bitches Got Soul. Just me and a few strippers jumping around a pony went viral. Eight million views. One for every dollar I made last year. Holla. My daddy, he invented the sick bag. What, he invented the paper bag? No, he invented the paper bag with the plastic lining. So your sick don't drip, yo. Keeps your chunder in the bag. Yeah, I think I got it. So next time you blow chunks on a plane, you think of K-Wack. See? You don't mess around behind the wheel, homie. This is why I asked the taxi depot to send their top dog. That's what I'm talking about. You are killing it. Hey, what was you doing out of Sandy Shores anyway? You know it ain't exactly multicultural out there. I was looking at factory sites so I can make sick bags right here in the USA. World's changed, homie. Everyone used to outsource everything to Asia. Now hillbillies will work for less than the Koreans. Hashtag fact. You keep driving like this, I should make the buy-in no worries. I can't wait to get my drink on. Smoke some cigars, wear some sunglasses, kicking an ass and taking names, baby. You really know how to handle this whip, dude. We all got our thing. When I get to that poker table, I'm in the zone. I can just sit there for 24 hours in complete silence. Man, I can't even imagine your ass side. Oh yeah, I'm ice cold. A closed book. I'll get inside your head. Silent killer. Last time, I went all in on a pair of nines and swept the pot. Psyched out the whole table. That was some sick driving, dog. You blew up the spot. Take this. You earned it. Oh, 
Hi, Mr. Clinton. A call just came in from a guy saying he's got a couple of stops and he'll pay extra if we send the best we got. All of the drivers we have right now are kind of green. Are you available to do the job? Yeah, I can deal with that one for you. His plane just landed. Says he'll be waiting for you outside the main terminal at Los Santos Airport. Driver! Unbelievable! So where to? Yeah, gonna take me downtown? Little Gems Jewelry, Atley Street. Look at all these people. It's scraping an existence, living by someone else's rules. Which people? Driver, let me ask you something. Uh, do you believe that fate is just an opportunity you haven't seized yet? Say what? Do you believe that every road leads to more than one place? Hey, man, you want to take a different route or something? No, no. Jeez, this pseudo-spiritual stuff always used to work on the young guys. What I'm asking you for is one extraordinary hour out of your ordinary life, and I'll make you rich. I still had no idea what you're talking about. Uh... I'm gonna rob that jewelry store, and I want you to be my getaway driver. Are you for real? Do I look like a man who tells jokes? Sounds kind of shady to me, dawg. I don't even know you. That's why it's perfect. No ties. We handle our business, we go our separate ways. And you got all the angles covered, right? You done the planning board and mapped it all out. Planning board? Okay, you've been watching too many gangster movies, my friend. Look, you don't have to worry. I'm a professional. I do my research, different cities, different targets, you keep switching it up, you stay smart, you stay free. Man, I don't know, man. I'll be in and out of there in under 60 seconds, clean and quiet. You wait outside, drive me back to the airport, and that's it. Easiest money. Okay, this is the store right up here on this block. Park in front of that alleyway. Okay, wait here, I'll be back in a minute. Keep the engine running. We're about to have cops all over us. Can't you go any faster? They're right on us! This is where you have to step it up, man. Look, I go down, you go down. Now, come on! What kind of insane response time was that? <laughs> Holy shit! You left them for dust, man. Did I call the right car company? Shit, man, it was my ass on the line, too. All right, drop me back at the airport and you'll get your cut as promised. <laughs> well, I still got it. And I was the one that got us out of that mess. What can I say? Seriously. People excel under great leadership. Man, are you for real? So much for clean and quiet. What the hell happened with the alarm? Hey, look, there's not much I can do about an alarm. Virtually everyone has them now. But I, I wasn't expecting the security guard. That came out of left field. At least I had the mask on. What mask? Oh, shit. I knew I'd forgotten something. And what was that explosion? Oh, that? Yeah, that was a total mistake. Dropped a grenade on my way out. Oh, man. I'm an idiot. Well, since when were you the expert on robbing jewelry stores? We did it. That's all that matters. And in a few hours, I'm going to be back in Liberty City sipping champagne. One last job. <laughs> I know I still had it in me. I've been out of the game for six years. Man, not another one. I should have known. And don't tell me. You're rich. Miserable, and your wife and kids hate you, right? Oh, yeah, they want nothing to do with me. 
That's why I needed to put this together. Settle some outstanding alimony payments and then back to enjoying my retirement. Moving around from place to place, looking over my shoulder the whole time, unable to form any meaningful relationships, too scared to spend the money in case it attracts attention. Living the dream, the mystery man, sitting alone at the end of the bar with the well-cut suit and the expensive whiskey. Los Santos Airport, I'm almost home free. So this is it. Now you're a talented wheel man, you should build on that. You've got potential. Yeah, look man, stay out of trouble, alright Derek? And maybe I'll see you again, on this side or the other. Maybe not. What the hell, man? Maybe not. Ciao. It's Raul at the taxi depot. A young lady just called. She says she wants someone discreet and professional. Sounds urgent. There ain't many of our drivers fit that description. Have you got the time to take it? All right, where's the pickup? Great. Uh, the pickup's on Fudge Lane in uh, Boro Heights. She'll be waiting outside. Can you take me to the Central Los Santos Medical Center off Capitol Boulevard? You got it. You okay? Are you sick? No. I'm gonna surprise my fiancé. He's a doctor there. Man, what is it with girls and doctors? I've been asking myself the same question. I just read on his email the son of a bitch is leaving work to meet up with some slut. You read his email? He's marrying me. You shouldn't have anything to hide. And lucky I did. All right, we're here. Wait, there he is. Okay, I want you to follow him, but don't make it obvious. You know, like they do in the movies. You sure about this? I want to see where this bitch lives. Look her in the eye. Let her see my banging body. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a good distance. We used to have sex every morning. Now, it's like he's too scared to even touch me. Look at him like a dog in heat. It's disgusting. You don't see him in such a hurry to come home to see me. What would have happened if I had threatened to cut myself if he didn't give me the password to his email account? A patient. That's cheating code if I ever saw it. I'm not stupid. Do I sound stupid to you? Uh. What are you gonna do when you get there? Oh, I'll think of something. Don't you worry about that. To think I co-signed for that car, now he's using it to cheat on me. That cheating, lying weasel of a man. I was just at my mom's place. She always said he'd stray as soon as he qualified. Too good for El Burro Heights now, huh? So he done this before? Oh, he must have done. He's hardly ever home. He's constantly working late. He's always tired. Ain't that the deal when you a doctor? He tries to pull the wool over my eyes. Tell me he... He's pulling into that apartment building. And I see her. She's there waiting for him, the bitch. Got him. He never saw us once. Okay, that skank is mine. Kayla, what are you doing here? This is her? This is a slut you've chosen over me? She's a patient of mine. Hey, come on, are you crazy? Put the gun down. Fellers! My name is 
to Trevor Phillips Enterprises! Move you ever made! Ah, fuck
my wallet! Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know, I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds, they're not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah, they need guns, bro. So many guns. Luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, that's gonna be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export story. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great. Oscar! Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey! Oscar! Hey! Oh, you're on the edge. I like that, I think. Okay, that plane is this custom fitted for package drops. State-of-the-art radar, secure radio. It's tricked out, man. Really? Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. You're just a typical classic light aircraft enthusiast enjoying his midlife crisis. No profile. My middle name. Okay, radar's working. You're up on the screen here. We got two deliveries. I put in the coordinates, you make the drops, you get out of there. Easy. Roger! Oscar! Trevor! We 
have a confirmed delivery. Nice work, Trevor. Made the drop. That means all the buyers have their deliveries? Nice work. Bring the plane back in. All good, Trevor? Oscar! Que onde, compadre? Yeah, I didn't know you spoke a real language. Damuna mamada! Kirama mamacita! <laughs> Shit, man. You even know what you're saying? I learned everything I know from some lovely ladies just south of the border. Ah, okay. How long you been up here anyway? You seem to know your way around. Maybe five years on and off. I pretty much stay north now. Too much competition. Have to stay visible. And you? I mean, even I know that ain't a San Andrean accent. Sandy Shores, few years. Self-destructive right-wing misfits, meth, guns, incest. Closest I could find to the Midwest. Reporting for duty. Good. Listen, man, we got some heat. Cops, feds, uh, I ain't sure, but they got radar set up. Scanners. They know there's an operation going down here. So you're saying we lie low for a while? No, just fly low. Business don't stop. Buyers are waiting. If you stay close to the ground, you won't pop up on their radar. Cargo received. Money in the bank, man. That one's a hit. Good work. Head for the airfield now. That was the last drop. So let's get this straight. I, I bought the hangar, I fly the plane? What you bought was a share of the business. A business that has taken a long time to set up. I handle the contracts, uh, the logistics, uh, the communications, the authorities, the competition, and so... Yeah, yeah, you fly the plane. And you track my every move. It's a perfect storm of paranoia and recklessness. How can we go wrong? And about this competition. Who the fuck are they? Who aren't they these days, man? They're runners everywhere. Some local crazy rednecks. And the Mexicans, of course, mainly the Aztecas right now. And the Salvadorian gang, the Marabunta Grande. They got real dangerous the past six months. There used to be enough pie to go around. Now everyone wants the same piece. Eh. And who are you with? Just so I know who I'm pissing off. I'm independent. I work with local buyers up here, the cartels down there. I mean, I'm not stupid. I look after the bagos, I pay dues to Madrasso, but I'm freelance, man. Oscar, you there? What's the drop? Something different, something different. The Aztecas have become a problem again, trying to lure a couple of our customers. The plane's been rigged with bombs. Well, I say we hit back now, take out a few of their bases, and remind them who they're fucking with. Loud and clear, amigo! If there's one thing Trevor Phillips Industries prides itself on, it's fair competition in the marketplace.
control of them. You can fly back to the airfield. Thank you for flying Air Phillips. This is your captain speaking. You might have noticed some turbulence during the recent bombings, but we're expecting a smooth run in. So sit back and enjoy the flight. <laughs> I like you, Trevor. You're just crazy enough. I agree. That should keep your fellow countrymen out of our way, don't you think? For now. There's always more where they came from. Yeah, I've been having similar issues with some bikers. They all get the message eventually. What's happening? I got some new intel on the Salvadorians. They're bringing the guns in by sea and moving them out by rail. <laughs> you could take out their boats and the freight train. We could put a freeze on their supply channel. You make it all sound so professional. Target. That should slow down their operation. Phillips Industries global expansion plan right on schedule. Diversification. The only way to survive in today's shadow economy. Are you talking to me? I never knew there was such a demand for weapons in the Sonora Desert. Aside from my personal requirements, of course. <laughs> this is the Wild West, man. It all goes through here now. Drugs come in, guns go out. And they say we don't export anything anymore. We can move product from Liberty City to Mexico City and back in 24 hours. Yet, I still can't get a pizza delivered to Sandy Shores. Phillips to ground control. You want the good news or the bad news? <laughs> How bad can it be? Those hillbilly local runners, they've moved in on your airfield and are using it as a base. What? I will fucking destroy them! Yeah, I thought you'd say that. So the good news is, my guys fitted the plane with a new carpet bombing system. Instead of a single bomb, you can now drop a chain. Just make sure you have several targets lined up beneath the plane before releasing so we don't waste ammo. Oh, I won't waste any. If that alarm's anything to go by, I've been spotted. And that's a hit! Like dominoes! All of them? Great, man! Money. 
That should do it. Let's call it a day. Bring the plane back into the hangar. If only we spend as much time trafficking as we do bombing traffickers. Yeah, I thought that was capitalism, my friend. 10% business, 90% putting other people out of business. How many of these fuckers are there? Never had to work so hard for a monopoly in my life. Son ratos, hermano. They're always multiplying. What? You ever get the feeling we might be understaffed? Me, you, and an antique airplane. That's called efficiency, Trevor. That's called something, man. So, I'm sitting in a go-kart with nowhere to go. That's an all-terrain vehicle, fitted with GPS tracking system, CB radio... That'd be the radio we're talking on, then. We use these to pick up the shipments. There's a plane making a drop soon near a mobile home off East Joshua Road. Make it fast. Those rednecks have been sniffing around. I think you'll find rural American is the politically correct term. And I think the cops got eyes on us, so try to avoid the main roads. Is there anyone who doesn't know about this? Package secured, amigo. Nice work. You got there so fast, they didn't even see you coming. sit on that radio all day? I just got a tip off. The Salvadorians found out about a drop we're getting near the docks. You gotta get there. Quick, T, or we're gonna lose the package. Oh, when are these clowns gonna get the message? I got eyes on them. They got the package. Take them out, T. So that's them dealt with. Permanently. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay, Oscar, time for Daddy to go to work. We got another pickup near the old farmhouse in the Santiatsky Mountains. Keep an eye out for the Aztecas. They picked up one of my pictures in Veracruz. Or maybe they should keep an eye out for me. picked up. In and out. You're a ghost, man. No trouble. That's how I like it. Movement on the scanner, man. Coming your way. You can relax, Oscar. They're all dead. I never relaxed, but that's good to know. What quest awaits me now? I have another pickup near the old rail station. Get over there before it falls into the wrong hands. 
I heard lots of Maravunta guys have been seen around there the last couple of days. Consider it done! Oh, invisible master. Delivery picked up. Yeah, I'm in the hot seat, Oscar. Good. There's another shipment coming in by plane. The drop site is over near the Sonora National Park. Local runners got a good grip on that area, so watch your back. You got it. I'd go cross-country if I was you. Roads are too dangerous. Got the package. Vultures! A lot of them! I got company. You can relax, Oscar. They're all dead. I never relax, but that's good to know. You were right about those cops. The answer's no. I can't haul at my boy now? Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. Backed up here. Reports of an abandoned car. Haven't moved in weeks. Over. You piece of shit. Who the hell do you think? 
I'll show you, you fascist! Look out the way! We need a car towing from an illegal parking space. Trip, you dick! You feel good now, do ya? Get a real job! Another idiot parked in a handicapped spot. They never learn. My car! Hey, this ain't yours. I'll fuck you up, no down car for you. Stand on it. 10-10 on the side. Oh, am I glad to see you. I guess you better take me to a repair shop. But man, I so can't afford this right now. Man, this must suck for you. What you say? This work, man. Half the day you're helping people, the other half you're screwing them over. Look, dog, I run the business, but it ain't my main thing. I just do our jobs now and again. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not a real barista. Day jobs. I knew you were an actor as soon as I laid eyes on you, bro. What are you talking about? I ain't no damn actor. Man, you gotta own it. Even when you have no work, you are still an actor. It's a calling, a vocation, brother. You probably recognize me from the Big Log cereal commercial. I'm the guy mowing the grass, and I was really mowing it, bro. Do you play video games? I was the voice of Racist Gunner number three and Righteous Slaughter five. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, dog. Cool. Thank you. Stick with the acting. You'll get there one day. We've got ears out there. Back. Hammer down. We need a car cleared from the train tracks. Come on, start. Oh my god! Wow, that was not fun. Is there a repair shop here you can drop me at? I don't know what my husband would have done if something happened to that car. He loves it more than me. You go from making love every day to missionary once a week to reluctant oral on birthdays. What I'd give for a time machine. You married? No, but you really selling it to me. He spends most nights out in the garage working on that car. Shit, he didn't do a very good job at it. Exactly. He's buffing something else, isn't he? Changing his own oil. How does that make a woman feel? There's an old sock he keeps under the driver's seat. You could literally snap it in two. And we officially crossed the line into too much information. I'm sorry. I'm ranting again. Thank you. Hopefully I can get this fixed before he finds out. We got reports of an accident. Can you bring the car in?
fucking hell? Anything going, oh. dispatch? Yeah, call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. I got it. Stop that chariot! Let's get this chariot in motion! Good work! I have an opening in my busy schedule for a pickup. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. I'm all over that, dispatch. Taxi! Get moving. Yo, good looking out. Anybody out there good for pickup? I'll take it. I need a taxi. I've got places to goddamn go. By the way, you're a douchebag. Uh, hang on, I didn't mean nothing bad. <laughs> 